Today we're going to make a chicken pot pie in just one pan in under 30 minutes. Plus, it's got a cheesy biscuit topping that you're going to love. Preheat your oven to 450 Fahrenheit. Now I've heated the pan up and I'm having three tablespoons of butter. We're going to be using chicken breast, but if you wanted to, feel free to use some chicken thighs if that's what you can get your hands on. Season with some salt and some pepper. We usually use kosher salt for seasoning. We're looking to just get a little bit of colour on the chicken and now we're going to add flour. The flour is going to be the thickening agent for the sauce, just gently working it around. Now we're going to add some chicken stock. This could be homemade or pre-purchased. At the moment, it's not going to look very thick, but as it comes to a boil, the gluten is going to thicken it up. This could take a couple of minutes. Be sure to keep stirring as it could catch on the bottom of the pan. We're gonna add the frozen vegetables, but feel free to add any roasted vegetables, even some cooked potatoes to this. Add some dried parsley. You could add rosemary or thyme. Now let's make some biscuits. Add two cups of all-purpose flour to a bowl, and then we're gonna add some baking powder. This is gonna lighten and leaven those biscuits up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar just for a small amount of sweetness. Now give this a whisk together just to make sure everything mixes well with a hand whisk. A good tip for you, with your box grater, spray it with some cooking spray. It stops the cheese from sticking to it when you're grating and it helps with clean up. Just watch this as it come down. See the way the cheese isn't sticking? Now we're gonna add the Parmesan cheese to the biscuits. It's gonna make them nice, cheesy and lovely. Now we'll add the butter. I always use unsalted, that way I can control the amount of salt in the recipe and some milk. And just using a spatula or a wooden spoon, bring this together. You can see that the mixture's all starting to come together. What I like to do at this stage is get the final seasoning. Add your salt and pepper and cheese to the pan. And you want to take a taste now, because remember, once we put the crust on, we can't taste it. So does it need salt or does it need pepper? I like to dip my spoon or ice cream soup into some flour. That helps the biscuit mixture come off easy and just randomly place the scoops around. It doesn't matter where it goes, it can go anywhere you want. Remember that they're gonna swell about two inches from where they are. Bake this in the oven between 15 minutes to 25. You're looking for them to be golden brown and fully cooked. As you can see, they've got this beautiful golden color to it. If you want to experiment, you can use a little bit of curry or even some wine in there. Have fun. That's what cooking's about. But I guarantee this one pot chicken pot pie is delicious. Look at that. Happy days.